Welcome back to the weather crew. In this video, we are going to be looking at this large storm from California as we have some new updates on it. And I'd like to tell you guys about the new updates. So this is the latest Adelaide imagery of this storm. And wow, it is really looking pretty nice of a storm. Definitely becoming stronger and stronger as of tonight with that circulation. We are seeing... It is possible that we do have a secondary low underneath all of this deep convection. It might look like this is actually the low. And I think it is. I just have to wait and see. It's probably maybe another low trying to circulate. I do not think so, personally. I think this is the actual low, um, personally. But if we look at this, because the only reason I can think maybe not is how this is still coming up here but that's how it's supposed to and then you can tell it kind of circulates back in here i kind of don't see that much of a deepening low pressure over here so i i think as of right now this is still the number oh my bad this is still the number one low i, I think this is that number one low as of right now we still got very nice circulation coming through on the northwest quadrant and then the east to south quadrant and then twirling back into that northern western quadrant of this low pressure. Then you can tell we do have these bands and we have this very long band throughout here that is already bringing some mountain snow and some moderate rainfall along the coast of California. Um, and the mountains already starting to snow, but we still got all of this moisture to deal with. And once this low pressure ends up like over here, we're going to have this um, movement uh, just updating as I am speaking. So that really just messed up everything. But we're going to chill with that, all right? It just updated again, you guys. And kind of moving that westward right now, but yeah, a lot of precip. This is going to be um, a, a very large storm, heavy rainfall, like I said in the last video. But let's take a look at what is really going on, all right? We're going to take a look at the radar because the radar is going to be a very important thing. So let this load. And yes, it is, it is really a big story, even going on the Weather Channel. Yeah, that is true. They have upped the excessive rainfall to a high risk. That is unbelievably unimaginable of what is taking occurred just here. They have upped this once again to a at least 70% in a 25 mile radius of a flash flood that is just northwest of los angeles you guys los angeles you guys are under that moderate but along the east coast moderate risk slight rook um in sacramento san san francisco is in the in the moderate um fresno is in that more of that marginal they probably back some of these actually i don't think so really because then we have to count the mountain snow but once again a high risk for these areas i these areas are under that high risk for that 70 percent. that is the highest percent you can go so it's it's very very major once you see that that's the highest they already have flash flood emergencies already going out because they already know how this is already gonna go all right look at a i mean come on as clear as day So major flooding is very likely, all right? Now, we're going to take a look at the models again. Zero Z of some of the mental scales. We're just going to take a good deep look at some of the heaviest rainfall expected. And actually, I'm going to use the name on tropical tibets. Only reason is because it shows more of the colors than the actual COD. It, it's good more for the winds. Um, and the rainfall, it's just not really good with the colors when it comes to um, the bands of the storm. All right. So let's take just a, a nice look at this. 
you know, we're going into 10. There's that rain already starting. We continue and boom. We look and this little continues to strengthen 989. You can already see some of those yellows, the mountain snow coming in. But look at tomorrow 10 a.m. This is that low. You're just really getting into the mix of it now with some of these heavier bands making a long short. This is going to be prolonged banding coming from the waters um, off the coast and just slamming band after band and circle out, circulating around the slow up the coastal areas and a bit inland. Then they're going to wrap back around going towards that low pressure as this thing gets closer. 983 millibars. Then we continue with that precip. So pretty interesting storm how this is all going to be taken while we have mountain snow all in here for at least three plus feet of snow. All right. So a lot to take in as of right now. A lot to take in. A lot of uncertainty of how much rain, how much snow expecting a lot but the official snowfall but we go into you know 3 p.m tomorrow i'm probably going to make a video maybe tomorrow morning if needed but tomorrow there it is 3 p.m a lot of that heavy rain just continues and even into eight o'clock at night this low could be all the way up in northern california as a pretty strong low don't get me wrong 982 983 but still bringing bands of this very heavy rain into areas across california and i mean look at that. that's just absolutely crazy right there very very heavy rain bands just slamming its way home and then that low pressure just keeps moving up all the way up here but a lot of snow a lot of rain and a lot of wind is very likely all right just remember that a lot of rainfall is Going to be likely, but if we take a look at the numeric models, go to California. Um, we can even look at on here how big of a storm this is, just absolutely ravishing areas like there. But take a look. At total snowfall. Across the mountains, definitely up to 30 plus, maybe even in some spots seeing 50, definitely possible. 60 inches of snow is very possible, maybe even close to 70 inches in some of these mountains. Some of these mountains over here and over here could be up to maybe three feet to four feet of snow is possible. Total precip accumulations. Once again, in certain spots where that flooding is very likely, up to 6 to 12 inches is going to be very possible. And especially along the coast here, some of these bands could really be producing, even in Northern California, a few inches of heavy rain. And as that low circulates around here, once again, a few more inches of that rain. But a big thing I wanted to look at is going to be that wind gust too. It's not going to be a nice wind gust at any mean. It's going to be very strong, nasty wind. And um, you can tell definitely far inland too, up to 50 to 60. But along that coast, you could be expecting up to maybe 60. And even some spots are off the coast, up to 80 miles an hour wind gust off the coast. And this low will continue to ravage. You can just see the dominance of the low. We need to see how far west this thing goes, how far south is. It could be a little closer. It could be even stronger. It could be less. Very big uncertainty with that, with the department. But these wind, the, the temperature is going to be crazy. Uh, it's going to be a very warm storm. But in those mountains, staying very cold. This storm, majority of everyone seeing 50 degrees maybe up to 60 mile or 60 degrees but it's gonna be a very sticky one too with some of those dew points um with that moisture seeing that up to the 40s 50s trying maybe in the southern los angeles area make it up to 60.
but very wet, rainy day tomorrow. Your Sunday and the rest of tonight into maybe even Monday. It's going to be very rainy, very stormy, very nasty weather. It's going to be very likely. So now we take a look at another model. Um, we're going to take a look here. Look at all that heavy rain, that wind, that low. And this low wants to be a lot more closer and actually make landfall in Northern California. Probably is a 990 mile, millibar storm. But look how slow this thing will move as you get up there. So a lot of precip to be expecting. Total snowfall in those mountains just up to that 48 hour. I mean, absolutely ridiculous amounts. I mean, very widespread up to 70 potential um, inches of snow. Um, probably with um, total precip accumulations, you know, up to that three to five inches. Some spots seeing four to eight, even six to 12. And some of those really wet um, spots, I see those um, very heavy rain bands up to an inch to three inches an hour. That wind on here, once again, very strong along the coast, probably even stronger than the NAM, and definitely getting more inland up to that 60 to even 70 miles an hour, and definitely getting more inland than some of these mountains up to 80 miles an hour. So definitely interesting, definitely a bit uh, more aggressive on the herd than the NAM. And I'm actually surprised because usually NAM overdoes it. So it's pretty crazy that the herd is actually – going pretty nice with this and as this low gets closer to the coast depending on close you know along that low you could be seeing wind just coming screaming out to 50 to 70 miles an hour with that low and then as that weekends and makes landfall then it will the winds will die down but not until the damage is already done that is another look at two major models we look at that total rain, that model else we can use is the European 18Z. It's not really that good at this point. It is good still, but it's now more for a lesser storm. But there it is, a lot more further out on this run. There's that weird thing, and then it goes up, makes a landfall in just in the border of North Carolina. I mean, California. But a very strong storm to bring major impacts. And after that, another low tries and comes, and then we get even another low. So a lot of cold air, a lot of precip, a lot of mountain snow, a lot of rain. Very likely. You can tell that right here. Up to that six to plus inches of rain. Very uh, likely. All right. They do have, I think, um, winter storm. Um, let's actually update the AccuWeather. Let's take a look at the latest update. Um, are they definitely updated? The power outages, they have up to extreme now, all the way inland, up to those mountains of California. That's pretty crazy. That California is now with that extreme. They do have catastrophic impacts here in the storm. And then the orange is high, moderate. And then the sun is possible. Um, urban, mud size, pretty similar on that. Rainfall, pretty similar. Up to 24 inches max. That's like the max, max. Heaviest snows. Um, rain and snow, four to eight, wow. Over the ridge and peaks of the Sierra Nevadas, up to four to eight feet may pile up over the several days in the midweek, with two to five inches will fall over the imminent elevations of 6,000 plus. That's pretty crazy. Two to five feet above 6,000, with some seeing five to eight, or oh, four to eight feet. That is absolutely Crazy blizzard conditions, av avalanches, road closures, no doubt on that. 50, 70 mile an hour winds. They have that all inland too, up to the mountains too. 50 to 70, just north of Los Angeles, max up to 100. Um, it's going to be very likely, right? 
Um, what else can we look at? Um, the main thing was because of the high risk got issued, and that was a very major part to this update. Um, they do have high wind warnings, wind advisories. I mean, absolutely crazy. They have high wind warnings all the way inland up to 70. Like, it's really, really, really crazy of how much they're asking for. Um, the radar, that's what I forgot, is going to be that radar. That radar is going to be very crazy, very lit. In the next coming day or two. There's that storm in Little Rock. That's pretty nice. That storm that. On the models. There's that rain starting to make it into California. And. Actually, some even heavier rain just south of San Francisco and San Jose. Um, dealing with some of these heavier rain bands. And just north of Salinas that we were talking about in the last video. Already starting to see that um, yellows and reds pop up. So, that, that's not a good sign right there. That's really not a good sign. Because that already tells you a lot of precip to come. We look at an 11. We look at the just three and i mean this storm is just off the charts here just slamming in here of california very likely all right um that is pretty much it i don't think i have too much to share we'll probably try and get some live cameras maybe i try and make a video tomorrow depending if i could set a set it up tonight and have some live cameras ready for tomorrow and use that is going to be very possible. But we'll have to wait and see. There's that satellite imagery of that storm. Wow, that's absolutely crazy of the storm right there. Um. <laughs> Long range, I will have to say, after this storm and what's to be next. Yes, some rain in the Florida. I already know about that. That weird storm, that circle it's on there, 999, 998. But after that, more California snow and rain. Once again, the same areas. We have to be careful with that. After that, pattern, you know, a little cold front, little um, that thing just does whatever it wants, goes by, then it gets a little bit more colder, there's another try of snowier weather, then there's another nor'easter type storm that develops, and then another snowstorm tries and develops. It is possible that winter will make a comeback, but for now, um, do not expect it to come back in a week. I think probably in the next 10 days it will definitely make a comeback, maybe less. You know, after that um, cold shot or whatever precip, we get that colder storm, maybe with some colder air is definitely possible. So don't give up on winter just yet. Um, it's all about the wait and see. We look into the long range of the Euro. The Euro is pretty good. And there is it, like, just like the Canadian. After that cold front, that comes by with some showers. There's that little bit colder storm that forms and boom. Then it's a little bit colder. So we'll have to wait and see how the next coming days of the long range is going to shape up. Is it going to be snowy February late or no? But that's going to wrap it up in this one. And we're going to um, let you guys go. Have a great rest of your night and see you tomorrow goodbye